Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how you can do voice typing. That means speaking the words into a microphone and having them automatically converted to text. And we're going to use a free app to do this, and it's from Google. Let me show you how it works. To get started with voice typing, you'll want to go to Google Docs. To find Google Docs, just go to Google and type in Google Docs. And the first result will be Google Docs. Just click that. And in Google Docs, what you'll want to do is to start a new document. We'll just click blank for a new document. At this point, if you wanted to, you could type in the document just like you normally do. But if you want to use voice typing, you go up to Tools, and you come down to Voice Typing. And on Voice Typing, you'll see a little microphone here. Now, you'll have to have a microphone connected to your computer. And then you click to speak. And I'm going to speak a little bit now and show you one way to do it, and then I'm going to show you the best way. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to use Google's voice to text feature in Google Docs. Now, you can see that it did a pretty good job. Look at that. It's got everything I wanted in the right place. I don't see any misspelled words. But the only thing it doesn't have is punctuation, so there should be a period there and there should be a period here. Google makes it easy to add punctuation pretty much the same way all your other voice to text programs do. And the way you do that is you actually speak the punctuation words. So I'm going to do it again, but this time I'm going to say the punctuation as I speak. Let's get started. Using Google's voice to text is extremely easy, and I'm pleasantly surprised at how well it works, period, new paragraph. I thought there would be a lot more typos or mistakes, comma, but in my test, comma, there hasn't been, period, new paragraph. The hard part is remembering to include punctuation terms at the end of each sentence, period. To start a new line, you have to say the word new line, period, new line. To start a paragraph, you say new paragraph, period, new paragraph. These punctuation commands can be confusing at first, comma, but once you get used to it, it's not bad at all, period. You learn to speak and include punctuation, comma, and quickly get the hang of it. So you can see what it did right there. And just by saying the words, it added all the commas and the periods where I wanted them. Now here, when I said new line, it actually added the new line. And when I said new paragraph, it started the new paragraph. But once you get the hang of it, it really is an easy way to do voice typing. Now it would be a lot nicer if it was intelligent enough to automatically add punctuation as you spoke. And that's one of the things they're working on. But right now, you really have to add your own punctuation. And that means if you had a long speech that you wanted to record or if you had something someone else spoke and you wanted to convert it to text, it would do the job, but you'd have to go back and add the punctuation yourself. Still, this is free and it works quite well. To get there, you go to Google Docs. Once you're at Google Docs, click Tools, come down to Voice Typing. Once Voice Typing is on and you see a little microphone icon, just click the speech. And of course, you can save this document just by clicking File, or if you want to go in and edit it by hand, you can do the same thing. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in knowing about this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.